Allison Onado. Hi. Good morning, yeah. Allison. You have two overnight parking tickets. Yeah. Um, so I live on Pembroke, and they just redid. Speak the mic. They just redid all of the um, streets around me. So I have a picture too. Sorry. They have a picture too of all of my driveway because it's completely blocked Let me off. It. Let me see it. My, you have to speak into the mic. Where the cones are, my entire driveway is blocked off, so I parked on the street um, during Halloween weekend, um, and my roommate got the same ticket. Well, I see construction, and I see all these cones and barrels and everything else. I mean, uh, you mean you couldn't drive over those? No, unfortunately no. not. I think that might have hurt my car a little bit. Oh, are you a student? I am. Where? Uh, Johnson & Wales. Uh -huh. What are you studying? Biology. Biology? Yeah. What are you going to do with that? Um, I want to be a teacher and also work with animals oh, in this Oh, that's great. Summer. Good for you. What year are you in? Uh, I'm a senior, and oh. I just finished my second to last trimester yesterday. Oh. You going back to Connecticut after you graduate? No, I'm actually applying to the master's program here. You're going to stay in Rhode Island? Mm -hmm. Wow. Good for you. Thank you. Well, I don't know. I don't know why you couldn't drive over these barrels. Yeah, me neither. And there's like no. a two-foot drop. I'm not sure why you couldn't go down that two-foot drop. I'm going to dismiss that ticket. Okay. All right, well, then, you have another one. Yeah. Um, so as I said, I finished yesterday, and my friends and I were celebrating um, at one of my friends' house on Grove Street, and I got drunk and parked overnight because I couldn't move my car. Well, what were you celebrating? Uh, finishing my try off with all A's. You were celebrating finishing exams? Yeah. I know. When I used to take exams, I never celebrated. Why? Because <laughs> I, I never thought I did well, of course. Oh. <laughs> somehow, or other I, somehow or other I got through. I'm not sure how, but <laughs> we, I never thought I did well, and then I would do well. So. Yeah, see, it works out. But, but, but I, I remember the euphoria when I got the results. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And then I did a couple of things to celebrate, which we won't discuss here. <laughs> right, Inspector Quinn? I celebrated just to avoid Mom and Dad, <laughs> because they were going to get the results. Well, this is a tough case, and I can't make a decision, so I have to defer to, uh, I'm going to set up a three-man three, three man court. Okay, Perfect. We have Administrator Butler, we have Prosecutor uh, Inspector Carrigan, and Inspector Quinn. All right, so the defense is, she received her remarks, a little celebration, not a loud party. This was 4 o'clock in the morning. She was parked on Grove Street, and they gave her a ticket for parking overnight. Okay, I'm going to start up. Uh, Administrator Butler. I'm going to defer to... No, no, you're not deferring to anybody. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I think the fact that she said, admitted that she had a little too much to drink. She didn't say that. I did. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Trying to help you. Oh, but I'm 21. It's legal. And I wasn't... All right, so she was <laughs> drunk. So what do you think about... Can you, you can relate to that? I can, Your Honor. You can relate, all right? The fact that she didn't get behind the wheel. So, so you made a friend already. See this? Yeah, we're best friends now. Inspector <laughs> Carrigan? Your Honor, $20 is a great choice. It's better than driving hitting somebody, so I. Uh, so know, I. It's, fine. So now he's the tiebreaker, right? Inspector yeah. Carrigan wants the twenty bucks. Oh, he does. Yeah. So, oh. Twenty dollars. You get drunk. You're celebrating. It's a great I've time. I've just had internship. I don't have money to pay Isn't that. That's $20 why I'm here. Worth that? All right. Pleasure. The, I court, mean, the court administrator, who's not a prosecutor, he says, "I know what it is to have a few drinks, so I, I think we should let it go." Now here we are. Yeah. In the balance. I'm not sure if Inspector Quinn understands what it is to have a few too many drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't understand Inspe too many. Inspector Quinn. Judge, I don't understand the too many part. I mean, you, 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 There's no such thing as too many. On, on the too many part. But, no, Your Honor, uh, based on the testimony of the motorist, anyone who could get an A in biology definitely deserves a break. <laughs> Well, it's a two-to-one decision. Yay! So you win. Thank you. All right. Don't go out and celebrate again now. Yeah. Oh, I know. Never. Don't park the car, then celebrate. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. Family Good morning. Good morning, morning Your <clears throat> Did I pronounce that right? Yes. I did. I'm on a roll, Inspector Quinn. I heard you. Yeah? I got that name right? I thought you just pulled that one out, but <laughs> that was pretty good. Yes, that was, that pretty, was good. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to decide whether or not we're going to allow you to be in court this morning because you did not show up. I actually thought, in my mind, when I got a ticket, I actually thought it was the last Tuesday of um, October. And um, I kind of realized when I got realized that I was supposed to be a week before, mm. I just came in 
to let them know that it was a mistake. Yeah, I mean, you so. were doing court on the 23rd. We had Inspector Quinn. He had his entire staff here. Everyone was waiting. They said, you know, family Euro is coming in today. There was extra coffee, extra donuts, and all out-of-pocket expense from me. I'm so sorry about that. He was the happiest guy in the If there was extra coffee and extra donuts, <laughs> he was the happiest guy in the world. You know, he was the one that says, give her a break. It's okay. Maybe she won't come in again, okay? I locked the outside door early. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to vacate the default. All right, so now we have to assume that this is your court date. So I'm going to grant the motion to vacate the default. So now you're failing to yield the right of way in a crosswalk as well. Yes. So you have two choices, or three choices, really. Uh, you can pay the fine, or you can have it dismissed on your good driving record. Unless there is something really good that you want to tell me that you think will help you. Uh, no, I was actually coming from school and I was going to pick a client up because I work with the disabled. So I didn't see him. He just came all of a sudden like that. I'm like, I didn't even know what I did when he pulled me over. I'm like, I didn't know what I did. It was like, you went on a cross, crosswalk. And I'm like, well, well, obviously there had to be people in the crosswalk. He, no, it just was just one person. It was actually oh, just one person oh, in the cross. Just like the Quinn. You know what, Your Honor? I, don't know. I believe it's what the statute requires: five or more in a crosswalk yeah, before you stop. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, if I hit one person, that's not bad. No, there person. wasn't any accident. No, no. No, we know you no. didn't hit anyone. It's but not all right. One no, person. it's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. All right. So you want to have it dismissed on your good driving record? Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> just remember. Yes, I, I, I've learned my It's lesson. not five or more. It's like yes, one I know counts. now. I know better now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last time. Yes. The question is, Yes, please. how many people have to be in the crosswalk for if, you to stop? Even if it is one, I have to stop. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Anna. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.